And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you another trailer reaction and review and this is for the brand new Alien film Alien Raloom I probably butchered that apologize so we got a new Alien film coming out brand new Aliens movie coming I'm actually kind of excited I like the Alien franchise personally the Alien creatures are not my personal favorite monsters I, I prefer more of the Predators, but I do love the Alien franchise. I think all the Alien movies are great. Aliens is still one of my favorite horror films out there. I like the Prometheus. I like the Alien, um, the last Alien Covenant. I believe that was the last one. So I'm I'm a fan of these movies. So let's check out this new one and see if it goes back to the original, you know, horror elements. Oh, Freddy Alvarez, get out of here. Don't breathe. Okay. Ah, the Evil Dead remake. All right, okay. At least got. Oh, boy. Hold. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Only in theaters. Okay. Okay. Very short trailer, but the environment setting it up for what, you know, basically kind of promising us. I mean, it could go bad. We don't know yet. We, you know, it's just a trailer. Basically telling us, hey, listen, we're going back to what the original, what really Scott and James can't, you know, what really Scott gave us in the original Alien movies, the the dark, you know, out there in space, and we can hear your scream kind of vibe of what the Alien franchise was supposed to be and how it always been. And I like how it's going to be in a secluded spaceship and it's going to have all these aliens in there and attacking these people. Brilliant, brilliant job on the trailer i love the 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 environment of the trailer felt creepy and it felt secluded as well so good job on the trailer my one question i wonder if this is going to be one of those situations where kind of like the, the the recent halloween remake where halloween 2018 came out and is the direct sequel of the original Halloween movie from 1970, what was it, 77, 74? And just be that and ignore the other ones. Are we going to get the same thing here where this is like a continuation of the first Alien or Aliens, which is Aliens 2 is like the proper Alien movie, in my opinion, and just ignore the other ones, you know, 3, you know, the one with uh, Winona Ryder, and the other ones followed. Possible, not possible, we don't know yet, but... The trailer was cool. Like I said before, I, I appreciate them showing us what the environment is supposed to feel. We're supposed to feel secluded and, you know, kind of claustrophobic when it comes to being a, a tight, you know, space, you know. Especially, you know, what I love about the original two Alien movies, they're in a spaceship. So secluded, so dark, so you out there in space. That That's supposed to be the most scariest thing, you know. We've seen Jaws, you know. Jaws pretty much made us fear the water you know seeing big sharks obviously yeah that was scary back in those days the original two aliens same thing going to space is scary you're basically in a dark space there's nothing out there it's just you and you stand face to face with a xenomorph and a creature like that that can be scary so if they're telling me that this movie is going to go back to that element sign me up now it could go wrong could go flat could be bad as well we just don't know we just have to wait and see when the action movie comes out i i, I do appreciate it's going to go to theaters although i do wish this is probably the only example i do wish we would have gotten it and maybe in a hulu 
because, you know, the Alien franchise right now has kind of been, you know, kind of dipped in kind of quality. Same thing with the Predator franchise. But when they came out with Prey, and everybody saw that in Hulu, they're trying to make another one now. It might go to theaters and it could do really well. Putting Aliens in Hulu, I thought would have been a pretty cool idea. I mean, maybe, maybe it still is. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But, um... You know, I thought that would probably would have benefit this one time. Because normally I don't like big blockbusters like this to go just a straight streaming. And it's like, eh, it kind of diminishes a little bit. But for a franchise that's kind of been kind of on life support, kind of give it life on streaming to see how it does with audience's reaction. And then if it does really well on streaming, maybe if you put it another one on, on the theater, so a bigger screen, it might actually make some money and make a profit. But who knows? But... Still like the trailer. Very excited. I also question though. Because I know there's an Alien TV show coming out as well. I wonder if that's connected to this. Or is it connected to the original movies? I don't know. I know there's supposed to be some big um, FX Hulu television show coming out for the new Aliens. But who knows. Not sure if this is connected. Didn't really explain it. But the trailer did its job. Got my excitement level. From here to here, move the needle a little bit. That's what you're supposed to do with a trailer. Regardless of where your expectation is, high, low, doesn't matter. As long as it moves the needle a little bit, it does its job. So, great trailer. It's just a tease, obviously, but still, fantastic job with it. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the new Alien uh, trailer. Are you guys excited for this? Not excited for it? Did you guys give up on Aliens? Predator fans only. You don't care about the aliens. You like more pre the Predators. I even like Alien vs. Predator. Those are good movies. <clears throat> Fun, but you know. Mm. But still. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much and have a good day.